turn now to our GMA cover story. You may be familiar with Ozempic or Wegovy, the popular drugs found to be beneficial for weight loss. Well, there's a new study out that shows additional benefits in the medication in those drugs. It's called semaglutide, and it appears to reduce symptoms of heart failure as cardiovascular disease remains the leading cause of death worldwide. Here to dive into the details is ABC News medical contributor, Dr. Alok Patel. Dr. Patel, thank you for being here. Uh, starting off, what does this study say? Well, what the study is basically telling us is that semaglutide, as some people know it, Ozempic or Wegovy, may play an important role in certain individuals when it comes to treating heart failure symptoms. In this study, a group of adults who have obesity and a specific type of heart failure were randomized to either receive semaglutide or placebo. And those who received semaglutide had a reduction in heart failure symptoms, an improvement in mobility, and they had more weight loss. So given how many millions of Americans suffer from obesity and heart failure, this is a potential game-changing research for public health. Game-changing, potentially game-changing. Now, could this be sustainable as a treatment for cardiovascular disease, or are there other options? Not necessarily, and that's not really what the takeaway point from this research really is. Now, what the authors do say is that obesity-related heart failure is not well studied when it comes to therapies. And so this study is adding to the body of evidence that obesity is a major risk factor in the progression and development of heart failure. And so semaglutide is not directly targeting the heart, it's targeting a risk factor, showing some incredible improvements after just one year. So this is focusing on the weight, and if they're a patient weighs less, the risk for heart failure would be less. Are there long-term implications to this, though? Well, some people know about the short-term side effects, such as nausea, abdominal pain, burping, that discomfort. And people need to remember that this drug has been around since about 2017, initially at a di as a diabetes drug. So doctors have a pretty good understanding of the rare side effects. It's just really important that people only take this medication as prescribed under a healthcare professional's guidance. Now, what about the implications of getting off the drug? What happens if you stop taking this? You know, if you stop taking semaglutide, you could have that weight gain come right back. You can go back to old habits. It's incredibly important that people realize that these medications are prescribed to very specific individuals. In this study, it was adults who were obese, adults who also had heart failure, and that people realize that it's oftentimes prescribed alongside dietary and lifestyle changes. It's a complete package to treat some really important public health issues. Okay, important to remember this is holistic. This is not a magic pill. It is just a tool in the toolkit. Dr. Patel, thank you as always for educating us and for joining us on this Saturday morning. Stephanie? For ringing in that information, Dr. Patel, <laughs> thank you.